Okay, so before we get into seeing if there's really anything here, let me give you a little bit of information about this place and the history of it. So, um, it is an oddly named uh, place. It's an independent order of odd fellows is who actually built this place. Um, it was formed in the United States in 1819 and grew from the original order that came up in England in the 18th century. Um, now this fraternal order came first to Missouri in 1835 and they built this, what's called the Odd Fellows Home. And it's on a 240 acre complex. Um, it was a form of health and life insurance as long as the members had a good record and they could depend on the Odd Fellows for help. Um, it had its own farm and the people that lived there were expected to work uh, and you know give their time in uh, return for being able to stay there. Um, there was its own hospital, orphanage, school, nursing home, and even has a cemetery with 600 uh, people in that cemetery. Um, now, this Society of Odd Fellows, um, like other fraternal organizations, they have secret rituals um, and an important one is the one that they do for initiation. Um, and one of the key symbols in this ceremony was a skeleton, which serves as a reminder of immortality. And today, a small room in the complex houses uh, some of the artifacts, including a real skeleton by the name of George. And that's not the real name. It's been used as the name so that they would keep it private as to who it was. Um, it was a member who died in the 1880s and actually donated his body to science. And then once that was done, it was requested that it be returned back to this facility. So yeah, there's a lot of history here and there's a, a sign-in book in the room here for people that have stayed here before and their experiences that they've um, gone through. So people are saying that they hear um, footsteps, creaks, um, tapping, also um, voices. And we're gonna see if we can see any of that or experience any of that tonight. So, Let's get underway. So we're gonna start off trying to see if we can contact any spirits that are here. Uh, we've been doing some uh, spirit box sessions and getting just random uh, communication, nothing really making sense. So we're gonna see if there's anything here uh, since this is the building that housed the orphanage. So I've got good old Jen here. Hi. And I've convinced her to, yep, we're going to do this. Oh boy. to communicate with whatever spirits are here so if there's anyone that wishes to communicate with us through this board please do so we are here to just speak to you and listen to what you have to say we got some random chatter on the spirit box but if there's anything that you want to say through this um, Please feel free to do so um, by moving our hands to move the planchette.
Is there anyone that wants to speak? Hmm? Mm -mm. I'm just like resting my fingers. I'm shaking because I'm barely touching it. Yeah. If this was somebody that wanted to speak, we're listening. If you want to say something to us, you can say something. Is there anyone here? And for the record, neither one of us is pushing on this thing. We are just literally resting our fingers. <clears throat> is there someone here? Well, you said yes, that you wanted to say something, so we know you're here. Let's ask you this. What is your name? See? I can't see what it's. Yep. C. C. Uh huh. E. E O C E O R It doesn't make any sense. Are you trying to spell Corey? Okay. Corey, are you good or bad? Wait, let me ask you. Corey, are you bad? Pointing towards the sun. Are you pointing towards the A or the sun? 
the sun if you're good, the moon if you're bad. Okay, yes. So. So, do you mean us harm? Okay. But you're bad and mean no harm. Okay. What made you bad? What made you, what did made someone, you did bad? someone Did someone hurt you here? No. Okay. Were you a resident here? Okay, so you were a resident here. When did did you leave here or did you die here? Okay. D So you died here. What year? One. Nineteen. Thirty. Were you here when it was an asylum? Did you hear that? Yes, I hear that. Was this your room? toilet flushing. Uh -huh. So if you guys can't hear that and I will try to amplify the audio, the bathroom has noises coming from it and there's nobody here but the two of us.
Let me ask you something, Corey. Because this is a question that I would always ask. Since you've passed on, you would know the answer to this. Is there a heaven? <coughs> okay, we're going to say goodbye. We close this board and we say goodbye. Okay, so... For those of you that don't know, it's, it's always a known thing that when you're dealing with something that's passed on, that if you ask that question, especially with him saying that he was bad, even though he said he didn't want to cause us harm, if you ask that question, the answer is no. Demons always try to convince you that there is no heaven. And the bathroom has noises coming from it now. I'm going to actually turn the camera around for you guys. Do you still want to speak to us? Well, Rose, are you here? <clears throat> it's the weirdest thing. We're getting nothing now. No communication whatsoever on the spirit box. But the EMFs are spiking. The EMFs are spiking? Mm -hmm. Like crazy. We're listening. If there's somebody that wants to say something, we're listening. We're here to speak to you. That's all we want. We don't mean any harm. We just want to talk to you. So if you have anything to say, you can say it. <clears throat> you heard that, right? Okay, that again is coming from the bathroom. And again, there's nobody in the bathroom. Okay, you guys had to have heard that. Is it spiking still? Mm -hmm. What is it about this bathroom? We 
Okay, we're still trying to get some voices on the spirit box. Is there anything coming through? Mm -mm. If you're here, give us more of a sign because clearly you had stuff to say earlier and you also had stuff to say on the Ouija board. So there's Since. clearly, huh? Since. It just said since. Mm -hmm. How about, can we louder it? Will it go louder than? Since what? It wasn't talking through audibly and it wasn't speaking on the obelisk. So I opened up my other spirit box. So it's going to flash me words as it interprets the so it, EVPs. Okay, so it'll do, okay. Mm. And it'll also tell you what's spiking. Yep. Okay, you guys just heard that. Is there anything else you want to say? We're trying to communicate with you. Is there something you want to tell? Give us a sign. Give us a sign that you're here. What did that say? Anthony. Anthony, is that you here? Give us a sign it's you. Anthony, we don't believe you. Is it saying anything? Mm -mm, the are spiking. Anthony, we don't believe you. Give us a sign that you're here. Alley as in Alley as in alleyway. Alleyway. So Anthony, what are you trying to say? Because frankly, I don't believe you. I don't believe that you're actually here because you're not even showing us any signs or anything. What? I don't hear anything. Anthony, you have this entire room. You have, I don't know if this was your room, but if you're going to show us something, show us something, because we, frankly, we don't believe that you even exist. Noises. That's what just came across mm -hmm. it. Are you the one making these noises, Anthony? Yes or no?
Again, and she's using a, a, a spirit box. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to pan this down there on the, let me see if I can, that is the top to, uh, hold on, to that right there. Maybe I'll put it back up on the counter. Cause that's a heavy metal. And that's it on the floor? It's on it's underneath. Yeah, it's on the floor. Nowhere near where yes. that little container is. Is that upstairs? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it sounds like something coming from above the room. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's staff moving around or what's going on. Jordan. Jordan. So we've got Anthony and we've got Jordan. Okay, Jordan. Were you a resident here? Jordan, are you not going to do anything or say anything? You can talk to us. We're here to listen. Tell us anything you have to say. Yeah, we're listening. We're listening for something, anything. Okay, that's the second time. And it's moving right there. No. And it's continuing to move. Are you moving that lid? The lid is moving, it's not stopping. That lid came from that canister on the counter there. I'm not putting it back up there. Is it giving you anything? Just EMF spikes up the wazoo. So we know you're here. We know for sure because we can tell on our device and we can also tell by you mm -hmm. taking that lid off the counter twice. A lid which is very heavy. Is that what you wanted to just to prove to us that you truly exist?
seeing anything from the bathroom. The door's staying open. Come on, do you want to speak to us? The camera, though, keeps trying to focus. Mm -hmm. Something about the bathroom. Do you like what the owners have done with this place? So there was nothing more that happened. We hope you enjoyed the Oddfellows Asylum. So much has happened behind these walls. Maybe on our next journey back, we'll find out more.